If you or someone you know is dealing with joint pain or inflammation, then you need to watch this video until the end. We're about to reveal seven inflammatory foods that you should steer clear of to ease joint pain and inflammation. Hello, and welcome to Rafa Health, where we share natural remedies to heal and repair the body, promoting a healthier, happier you. Joint pain can be incredibly debilitating, and it's often aggravated by inflammation. By making the necessary adjustments to eliminate or reduce these seven inflammatory foods from your diet, you'll be taking a significant step towards improving your joint health. Let's begin. The first inflammatory food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation is sugar. It's no secret that excessive sugar consumption can lead to a host of health problems, and inflammation is definitely one of them. Those sweet treats and sugary drinks that we sometimes can't resist can actually trigger inflammation in the body, and this inflammation can worsen joint pain. Now here's how it works. When you consume too much sugar, it can lead to an increase in the levels of pro-inflammatory chemicals in your body. These chemicals, in turn, can lead to increased inflammation, not just in your joints, but throughout your entire body. But that's not all. High sugar intake can also lead to weight gain, and those extra pounds can put added stress on your joints, particularly the weight-bearing ones like your knees and hips. So, it's a double whammy. Sugar not only directly contributes to inflammation, but can also indirectly worsen joint pain by causing weight gain. The key takeaway here is that cutting down on your sugar intake can be a significant step toward reducing joint pain and inflammation. Instead of sugary snacks and processed foods, try incorporating natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup into your diet in moderation. Your joints will thank you for it. The second inflammatory food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation are processed foods. Moving on to our second culprit in the quest to reduce joint pain and inflammation, processed foods. These convenient but often unhealthy options can be a major source of trouble for your joints. Processed foods frequently contain trans fats, artificial additives, and preservatives that are known to contribute to inflammation. Trans fats, in particular, are notorious for their pro-inflammatory properties. They not only increase inflammation, but also reduce the body's ability to produce anti-inflammatory substances. But the problems with processed foods don't end there. The ingredients in these items can also disrupt your gut health. And believe it or not, your gut plays a pivotal role in regulating inflammation levels throughout your body. When your gut microbiome is imbalanced due to a diet heavy in processed foods, it can lead to a cascade of inflammatory responses that can affect not only your joints but also your overall health. So it's not just about avoiding trans fats, it's about steering clear of the entire processed food category. Instead, focus on whole, natural foods that are kinder to your joints and your overall well-being. Opt for fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Your gut and your joints will thank you for making this switch. The third inflammatory food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation are saturated fats. Now, let's delve into the next group of inflammatory foods that can exacerbate joint pain and inflammation, saturated and trans fats. These unhealthy fats can often be found lurking in some of our favorite indulgences, and they're worth keeping an eye on. Saturated fats are commonly found in red meat, full-fat dairy products, and certain tropical oils. Trans fats, on the other hand, are frequently found in fried foods, certain baked goods, and many processed snacks. The danger lies in consuming these fats in excessive amounts because doing so can set the stage for inflammation. When you have an abundance of saturated and trans fats in your diet, they can trigger a cascade of events that lead to inflammation throughout your body. These fats can increase the production of inflammatory chemicals and also reduce the body's ability to generate anti-inflammatory compounds. This inflammatory response can worsen joint pain and discomfort. To protect your joints and overall health, it's crucial to limit your intake of saturated and trans fats. Instead of red meat, Opt for leaner protein sources like poultry or fish. Swap out full-fat dairy for low-fat or non-dairy alternatives. When it comes to cooking oils, choose healthier options like olive oil, which contains beneficial monounsaturated fats. By making these dietary adjustments and being mindful of your fat intake, you'll be taking proactive steps to reduce joint pain and inflammation. Your joints will thank you for choosing the right fats to include in your diet. The fourth inflammatory food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation is omega-6 fatty acids. 
Now, before you get too concerned, it's essential to understand that our bodies do need a balance of both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids for optimal health. However, an excessive intake of omega-6 fatty acids without a corresponding intake of omega-3s can indeed promote inflammation. Omega-6 fatty acids are abundant in many cooking oils, such as vegetable oil, soybean oil, and corn oil. When these oils dominate your diet, they can lead to an overproduction of pro-inflammatory molecules in your body. This imbalance can contribute to chronic inflammation, which, in turn, can worsen joint pain and discomfort. The solution here is not to eliminate all omega-6 fatty acids from your diet, but to strike a better balance. Opt for healthier cooking oils like olive oil, avocado oil, or flaxseed oil, which contain a more favorable ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids. These healthier oils can help curb inflammation and provide essential nutrients for your joints and overall well-being. So remember, it's about achieving the right balance between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids in your diet. By choosing the right oils, you can take a significant step toward reducing inflammation and ultimately alleviating joint pain. The fifth food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation are dairy products. While dairy is a rich source of calcium and other essential nutrients, it's important to recognize that some individuals are sensitive to dairy proteins like casein. For them, consuming dairy can trigger inflammation and potentially worsen joint pain. If you suspect that dairy might be contributing to your joint discomfort, it's worth considering alternatives. Fortunately, there are plenty of dairy-free options available that can provide similar nutritional benefits without the inflammation risk. Here are a few alternatives to explore. Almond milk. Almond milk is a popular dairy milk alternative that's naturally lower in saturated fat. It's often fortified with calcium and vitamin D, making it a suitable choice for maintaining bone health. Coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt is a creamy and delicious substitute for traditional dairy yogurt. It's typically made from coconut milk and is available in various flavors, providing probiotics and healthy fats. Oat milk. Oat milk is another dairy-free option that's gaining popularity. It's often fortified with nutrients and has a mild, neutral flavor, making it versatile for use in recipes or as a beverage. Soy products. Soy-based alternatives like soy milk, tofu, and soy yogurt can provide protein and other nutrients found in dairy products. Just ensure you choose unsweetened varieties to avoid added sugars. Switching to dairy alternatives can help you determine if dairy sensitivity is a contributing factor to your joint pain and inflammation. Keep in mind that individual responses to dairy vary, so it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian for personalized guidance. By making informed choices about your dairy consumption, you can potentially reduce inflammation and alleviate joint discomfort. The sixth food to avoid to reduce joint pain and inflammation is gluten. While gluten sensitivity is more commonly linked to conditions like celiac disease, it's worth noting that some individuals who don't have celiac disease may still experience gluten-related inflammation. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and their derivatives. For those with gluten sensitivity, consumption of gluten-containing foods can trigger an inflammatory response in the body. This inflammation can manifest in various ways, including joint pain. If you suspect that gluten might be contributing to your joint discomfort, there are a few steps you can take. Elimination diet. Consider temporarily eliminating gluten from your diet to see if your joint pain improves. This entails avoiding foods like bread, pasta, cereals, and baked goods that contain wheat, barley, or rye. Consult a healthcare professional. It's crucial to consult a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian for guidance. They can help you determine if gluten sensitivity is indeed the culprit and provide recommendations for managing your diet. Gluten-free alternatives. If you do need to avoid gluten, there is a wide range of gluten-free alternatives available, such as gluten-free flours, bread, and pasta made from rice, corn, or other gluten-free grains. It's important to note that not everyone is sensitive to gluten, and for those without gluten-related issues, eliminating it from the diet may not provide any additional health benefits. However, if you suspect that gluten may be contributing to your joint pain or inflammation, seeking professional guidance and exploring a gluten-free diet could be a worthwhile step toward improving your joint health. Remember, individual responses to gluten can vary, so it's essential to address this concern in a personalized manner. 
The seventh food to avoid joint pain and inflammation is nightshade vegetables. Nightshades include commonly enjoyed foods like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. However, they also contain a compound called solanine, which can contribute to inflammation in some individuals. If you've noticed that your joint pain worsens after consuming nightshade vegetables, it's worth considering reducing your consumption or even temporarily eliminating them from your diet to see if it makes a difference in your symptoms. Here's a bit more insight into nightshades and their potential impact. Solanine content. Solanine is a natural chemical found in nightshade vegetables. While it doesn't cause inflammation in everyone, some individuals may be sensitive to it, leading to joint pain or discomfort. Individual variability. Sensitivity to solanine varies from person to person. Some individuals may experience joint pain relief when reducing nightshade intake, while others may not notice any difference. Alternative choices. If you find that nightshade vegetables worsen your joint pain, consider exploring alternative vegetables that are not part of the nightshade family. Vegetables like broccoli, spinach, carrots, and sweet potatoes are nutritious options that can be included in your diet. As with other dietary considerations related to joint pain and inflammation, it's important to emphasize individuality. What works for one person may not work for another. If you suspect that nightshade vegetables are affecting your joint health, try reducing your consumption and monitor how your body responds. So, there you have it, folks. The seven inflammatory foods that you should consider avoiding or limiting in your diet to help reduce joint pain and inflammation. Remember, Individual responses to these foods can vary, so it's essential to listen to your body and consult with a healthcare professional if you have specific concerns. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share it with someone who might benefit from this information.